the regulation of heart rate heart rate is not under voluntary control the regulation of heart rate can be explained under neural regulation chemical regulation and thermal regulation neural regulation neural regulation is by autonomic nervous system and by medullary centers autonomic regulation that is the role of cardiac innervation the role of sympathetic supply sympathetic fibers are cardio axillary nerves they originate from lateral horn of upper thoracic spinal cord lateral lateral horn is known as a spinal center of sympathetic system the neurons in the lateral horns are influenced by impulses from medulla which in turn influenced by impulses from cerebral cortex hypothalamus limbic system and various peripheral afferents the preganglionic fibers from spinal cord end in stellate ganglion postganglionic fibers arise from stellate ganglion and innervate heart and vascular smooth muscles in the heart sympathetic fibers supply atrial muscles sa node av node purkinje system and ventricular muscles the transmitter released at the postganglionic sympathetic nerve ending is norepinephrine it mediates its action through beta receptors the effect of stimulation of sympathetic fibers on the heart is they are going to increase the heart rate that is a positive chronotropic chronotropic effect they increase the force of contraction that is positive inotropic effect they increase the conductivity that is positive dromotrophic effect and they increase the excitability that is positive bathmotrophic effect normally moderate tonic discharge is present in cardiac muscle from sympathetic uh, nervous system which is called a sympathetic tone but not as powerful as that of parasympathetic and this tone is responsible for maintaining normal beat parasympathetic stimuli the parasympathetic stimuli to the heart is mainly through the vagus nerve it is cardio inhibitory they arise from dorsal motor nucleus and nucleus ambiguus in medulla from these nuclei fibers arise and descend through the main trunk of vagus till it reaches the neck where the fibers of heart rate heart are separated and mixed with sympathetic fibers to form superficial and deep cardiac plexuses these gives rise to superior and inferior cardiac nerves and these nerves supply the nodal tissue and atrium the ventricles do not receive any parasympathetic innervation neurotransmitter released at postganglionic nerve endings is acetylcholine which acts via nicotinic and muscarinic receptors the right vagus innervates sa node and thus it controls the heart rate left vagus innervates av node thus it controls conduction through av node the effect of stimulation of parasympathetic fibers is that is it decreases the heart rate that is negative chronotropic effect it decreases the force of contraction that is negative inotropic effect it decreases the conductivity that is negative dromotropic effect it decreases excitability that it is negative bathmotropic effect has normally a constant stream of impulses pass through vagus which is inhibitory to the heart which is also called as vagal tone stimulation of right vagus decreases heart rate left vagus stimulation delay the conduction of conduction through av node and strong stimulation of vagus decreases heart rate and finally heart stops and it is called as vagal inhibition but after few seconds heart escapes from the inhibitory effect of vagus and this is called as vagal escape and starts producing impulses of its own at the rate of 1 to 90 beats per minute and which is called as idioventricular rhythm medullary regulation of heart rate by denervating dinner- both sympathetic and parasympathetic heart rate is found to be 100 beats per minute this shows that sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation of heart plays important role in maintaining normal heart rate and this activity is modified by higher centers which includes center in the centers in the medulla mainly the vasomotor area hypothalamus and limbic system 
Medullary cardiovascular centers include vasomotor center and cardiac vagal center. This medullary center is influenced by cerebral cortex, hypothalamus, limbic system, peripheral afferents or peripheral reflexes. The vasomotor area consists of the sensory area, uh, depressor area and the pressor area. The sensory area is nucleus tactus solitarius. This area receives impulses via 9th and 10th cranial nerves from periphery, particularly from the baroreceptors. In turn, this area sends impulses to control the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas. Depressor area, caudal and intermediate ventrolateral nucleus of medulla, that is CVLM and IVLM. This area is otherwise called vasodilator area. This area suppresses the vasoconstrictor area and causes vasodilatation. It is concerned with cardio inhibition. Pressor area, the rostral ventrolateral nucleus of medulla, that is RVLM, uh, is pressor area. This area, otherwise called vasoconstrictor area, this area sends impulses to blood vessels through sympathetic vasoconstrictor fibers. So, stimulation of this area causes vasoconstriction and rise in blood pressure. This area is also concerned with acceleration of the heart rate. The cardiac inhibitory center consists of nucleus ambiguous and dorsal motor neuron or dorsal motor nuclei. There is a constant discharge of impulses from cardio inhibitory centers through the vagus to the heart. This is responsible for the vagal tone of the heart. Factors which influences the vasomotor center and cardiac inhibitor center. Barrow reflexes. Barrow receptors like stretch receptors located in the walls of the heart and blood vessels. They are stimulated by distension or stretch. Different types of barrow receptors include uh, synoiotic reflex, atrial stretch reflex, vein bridge reflex, left ventricular receptors. They are going to affect the barrow receptors. Synoiotic reflex receptors uh, here are the mechanical receptors and respond to pressure uh, pressure changes or stretch. They are free nerve endings and are located in carotid sinus and arch of iota. They are also located in subclavian and other major arteries. These receptors are stimulated when BP changes between 90 to 150 mm of HG. Paroreceptors of carotid sinus are supplied by herring nerve, that is a branch of glossopharyngeal nerve. Paroreceptors of arch of iota are supplied by aortic branch of vagus nerve. When there is a rise in blood pressure, baroreceptors are stimulated. The nerve fibers from baroreceptors end in nucleus tactus solitaris of same side and opposite side. Neurotransmitter released here is glutamate. Neurons originating from nucleus tactus solitarius is stimulated and these neurons end in depressor area. The neurotransmitter released here is excitatory that is glutamate. These stimulate neurons from depressor area and the neurons originating from depressor area end in pressor area that is in RVLM. Here the neurotransmitter released is GABA which is inhibitory. So when depressor area is stimulated pressor area is inhibited. From pressor area, fibers are given to intermediate, uh, intermediolateral horn. Impulse transmission to spinal sympathetic center is thus inhibited. Inhibition of pressor area reduces the normal sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone leading to vasodilatation. When NTS are stimulated, the impulses are also given to uh, nu nucleus ambiguous and dorsal motor neuron of vagus. So that will lead to stimulation of vagus. When there is a rise in BP, there is uh, increased parasympathetic and decreased sympathetic stimulation. The suppression of vasoconstrictor, vasoconstrictor area reduces the vasomotor tone, that is sympathetic tone. When vasomotor tone is reduced, there is vasodilatation which in turn leads to reduction in peripheral resistance. The simultaneous excitation of cardiac inhibitory center reduces heart rate and force of contraction causing 
reduction in the cardiac output and blood pressure so this diagram shows the baroreceptor or sinoreceptor reflex or mary's reflex so whenever blood pressure increases the baroreceptors in the carotid sinus and the aortic arch they are brought to the nucleus tractor solitarius by ninth and tenth nerves when the ntss is stimulated it is going to stimulate the depressor area the depressor area in depressor area in turn it is going to uh, inhibit the pressor area that uh, inhibits the spinal sympathetic center and it decreases the sympathetic drive whereas stimulated ntss it is also going to stimulate the nucleus ambiguous and dorsal motor neuron which is a nuclei of vagus which is going to have a, a negative effect on the heart ultimately they are going to decrease the blood pressure and the decrease the heart rate both the factors that is reduced peripheral resistance and reduced cardiac output ultimately decreases the arterial blood pressure as the baroreceptor mechanism acts against the rise uh, in arterial blood pressure it is called pressure buffer mechanism and the nerves from baroreceptors are called as buffer nerves when blood pressure decreases all the changes are reversed note that from spinal sympathetic center sympathetic preganglionic fibers originate and these fibers end in sympathetic ganglia and adrenal medulla when baroreceptors are not stimulated spinal sympathetic center is not inhibited adrenal medulla is considered as a modified sympathetic ganglion adrenaline and noradrenaline are released from adrenal medulla adrenaline acts mainly on heart and noradrenaline acts on smooth muscles or blood vessels to produce pressure effects from sympathetic ganglion postganglionic neurons originate and they innervate the heart and blood vessels mary's law states that the bp is inversely proportional to the heart rate and not vice versa so this is mediated by baroreceptors that is rise in blood pressure will stimulate cic and heart rate will reduce cardiopulmonary receptors these include atrial stretch receptors bain bridge reflex and left ventricular receptors atrial stretch ref- receptors these are stimulated by distension of atria increase in venous return leads to distension of atrial wall leading to increased discharge in receptors causing increase in the heart rate increased heart rate causes vasodilatation uh, which leads to fall in blood pressure bain bridge reflex rapid infusion of blood or cold saline in anesthetized animal produces rise in heart rate if the initial heart rate is low the receptors are tachycardia producing atrial receptors the reflex competes with the baroreceptor mediated decrease in heart rate produced by volume expansion the afferent and different are through vagus and the center is at medulla it is diminished or absent when the initial heart rate is high then we have also left ventricular receptors when the left ventricle is distended there is a fall in blood pressure and heart rate it takes a considerable distension to produce this response and its physiological significance is uncertain however they may play they may play a role in the maintenance of vagal tone that keeps the heart rate low at rest so this is mechanism of baroreceptor when blood pressure increases uh, the impulses via 9th and 10th they reaches the nucleus tractus solitarius that inhibits the vasoconstrictor area uh, decreases the vasomotor tone leads to dilatation of the vessels simultaneously there will be stimulation of the vasodilator area and cardiac inhibitor center which leads to bradycardia and reduction in the cardiac output so the blood pressure Uh, restore to the normal chemo receptors which are present in the carotid body and aortic body 
are stimulated by fall in the blood pressure. Impulses are transmitted through 9th and 10th cranial nerves and impulses reach nucleus tactus solitarius and then it controls vasomotor center to uh, decrease the blood pressure to in sorry increase the blood pressure coronary chemoreceptors that is bezoal jarich reflex in experimental animals injection of serotonin capsaicin veratrodin into coronary artery supplying left ventricular uh, cause apnea followed by rapid breathing hypotension and bradycardia the receptors are c fiber endings and the afferents uh, are vagus vagal and center is medulla they are also stimulated by occlusion of pulmonary artery or by substance released from the damaged myocardium in patients with myocardial infarction substances released from the infected tissue stimulates c fibers ending of uh, vagus and cause bradycardia hypotension and apnea pulmonary chemoreceptors or j receptors mediated reflexes the receptors are j receptors they are also called as juxta capillary receptors and they are located in the alveolar interstitium close to the pulmonary capillaries the effect are apnea followed by rapid breathing hypotension and bradycardia whenever these receptors are stimulated mild hypoxia hypercapnia stimulate vaso motor center directly causing increased in the heart rate if hypoxia is severe then it will depress the vaso motor center cushing's reflex when intracranial pressure is increased the blood supply to the vaso motor area is decreased this cause local hypoxia and hypercapnia vaso motor area is excited to increase blood pressure which can increase blood supply to the vasomotor area when blood pressure is increased there is a reflex uh, reduction in heart rate this is the only condition in the body where we have increased blood pressure associated with decreased heart rate note that heart rate varies with the phases of respiration it increases during inspiration and decreases during expiration and this phenomenon is called as sinus arrhythmia during inspiration impulses in the vagi from stretch receptor in the lungs inhibit the cardiac inhibitor center in the medulla oblongata thus the tonic vagal discharge that keeps the heart rate low decreases and heart rate increases or rises cardio hypothalamic pathways cerebral cortex and limbic system exerts strong influence on blood pressure and heart rate through medullary centers limbic system also influences through medullary center change in heart rate and blood pressure during various emotional activities is due to influence of limbic system on medullary centers coming to chemical regulation norepinephrine has a direct chronotrophic effect on heart but its pressure action uh, stimulates the baroreceptor leading to bradycardia thyroxine increases the heart rate by increasing bmr and also by increasing the sensitivity of epinephrine and norepinephrine digitalis decreases the heart rate the thermal regulation by increasing the body temperature they increase the heart rate.